Tonight, a mid-Michigan family grieving the loss of a young woman after a deadly shooting at the Fountain Park Apartments in DeWitt Township this week. Good evening. I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. Police say they found 26-year-old Emily Hansen with a gunshot wound. She later died of her injuries. 27-year-old Bradley Corey is charged with open murder. News 10 Zachariah Wheaton talked with Emily Hansen's mother today. He joins us now in studio with more on how the community is coming together to remember her. Yeah, the community definitely is. They are coming together to remember Emily Hansen and help raise money for funeral costs. Speaking with Emily's mom today, she said she doesn't want her daughter to be remembered by Tuesday's tragedy, but rather the person she was throughout her life. And that was what she looked forward to, was just handing out that hug every day to everybody just to say, hey, have a great day and I love you. That was my daughter. Emily Hansen was born on June 25, 1998 at Bronson Hospital in Kalamazoo. And ever since a young age, her mom Wendy says she's been a bright spot, always caring for others. She's always had just wonderful outlook on life. She loved playing uh, the piano when she was little and she would sing on top of the piano for Christmas carols and play the violin and the viola. Emily's positivity was contagious and shined through even during her toughest times. Emily lost her father to cancer at a young age and she too was diagnosed with that same cancer. But despite those challenges, Wendy says you could always count on her to lift you up or help you out. Throughout her life she's had um, many uh, trials and things of that sort going in and out of doctor's offices, but she's always had just wonderful outlook on life. And despite Emily's untimely death, the city of Charlotte is doing whatever they can to help pay for funeral expenses. People in the community have begun to donate with some businesses, even giving a portion of their proceeds. Emily's friend Keisha has helped lead the fundraising efforts, placing donation buckets at businesses throughout town. In my Facebook post, I did say that I was going to miss her smile and her hugs because they were the best. I started out with a few, not knowing how big it was going to be, but people accepted it and wanted one. I'm in the process of making more today. They've already raised thousands of dollars and have more fundraising efforts underway. They say they're touched to see their small town show such big heart. The outreach from the community has been amazing, but the trial, just understanding why it happened, um, we don't have the answers, but I pray that one day that we will and that she's resting peacefully. A memorial service and celebration of life dinner is uh, scheduled for Wednesday next week. And if you want to donate, there are uh, a number of ways that you can do that, including with donation buckets at businesses throughout Charlotte. All right, thank you, Zachariah. The suspect is behind bars tonight with no bond. Anyone with information is asked to contact DeWitt Township Police. Well, no 